Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry on Singe jungle. He's by no means a meta jungler or even a strong jungler, but you can still definitely carry with him and do some fun stuff. For your runes, you're gonna want Predator, Cheap Shot with Zombie, Ingenious, Nimbus Cloak, and Celerity. If you don't wanna take Nimbus, you could go for Water Walking. The thing is on Singe, you're rarely gonna be able to solo the enemy jungler. So Water Walking is a little bit overrated because there's just no point unless you're running away from them. And in that case, Celerity should get the job done as is. We're up against a Rumble Jungle. Kind of interesting. Main thing you want to focus on Singed is just good pathing and uh, good ganks. Just the fundamentals. As long as you have one successful gank, at least one in your first route, you'll be good to go. If you don't get one, get Predator and then try to make something happen. Try to cut, cut your camp out. You can hit it the whole time with your poison while you're kiting it, so it's really not that inefficient. Same thing with Gromp. You can kite them out pretty hard. Just make sure you're weaving in your autos as well. Should burn out from there. Yeah, I was really close. That was making me very nervous. You can turn off your Q in between camps. If you have blue buff, it doesn't matter that much though. Was not trying to toss him over. Shouldn't have affected too much. We only missed one auto. All in all, the clear is a little better than you'd expect. We finished three camp clear 225. It's actually faster than a Kha'Zix could have done. Slightly faster than most Evelyns will be able to do. Gonna go in, flip the big one, kite the camp out a bit. And we weave a lot more autos in once a lot of the little ones have died. Immediately going for the flip against him. And you can also pinch off an auto while it's being flipped in the air. Since it's passing over you, you can get off 80% of the auto attack while it's still in your... While, before it gets outside of your auto attack's tether range. It's like any melee champion. We'll go ahead and smite that. I don't want to do a full clear. I'll just go for scuttle here. Graves has Pryo. You can go for a full clear and just reset. That works decent as well. You can take Scuttle pretty quick. Yeah, Rumble's coming. He's going to miss out on it. Yeah, we have complete vision of him. We're going to ghost for this. Oh, nice. He got it. We'll hit it with a bit of poison. Level 4 now, we'll try to grab Scuttle Crab. What I would recommend in the future if you do want to do a full clear is save your smite for the big Krug instead of wasting it on the red buff. There I ended up smiting the red buff because I decided I wanted to get a Scuttle Crab early. Otherwise, just save it for the big Krug because big Krug does more damage anyways. His Raptors are down, of course. <clears throat> Didn't get a gank out of using our Ghost mid. We might be able to get a gank here. Don't know. Where, okay, these guys are just low. That's why they're acting like this. He landed it. He doesn't have enough mana, though. Ezreal gets the kill. Should be able to get this guy. I have celerity, and he doesn't. There we go. Passive kicks in, hit him with an auto attack. He flashes. He's not going to be able to get away from me. I have, uh, I have movement speed. He's a goner. Gonna turn on our poison and run like heck. And Jason might have just saved us there. He might have knocked us out of that Ezreal Q, which I think was gonna do a lot more damage than the actual Jace knockback. That's kind of funny. <laughs> we really do need Predator though. As you can see, ganks without Predator are really hit or miss. The Singe's base movement speed is a measly 345, while at the same time a Master Yi's base movement speed is 355. Even though Singe probably needs the higher movement speed. First item rush, you're going to want to go ahead and get boots and then start building straight for your Agony's Embrace. Agony's is a very, very good item on Singed. It makes you very tanky. Unlike Leandri's, it's one of its biggest downsides of rushing this item or even building it. It's normally why for your mythic, normally why your mythic on Singe Jungle is going to be Turbo Chem Tank because you're going to be doing a lot of engaging for your team. Most of the engagements will be done by you. 
bonk there he goes another item you want to look to get is winter's approach it's a really really strong third or fourth item on singe because you crap load of mana crap load of hp really useful stats a big old shield for any kind of uh mana based melee jungler it's a very solid option I'm going to go ahead and keep maxing out our q oh this is warded that's fun love it when it's warded a little long way around i see rumble's top side we could peek his raptors real quick they're missing balling's not gankable mid lane's just shoved back up again because he's a dingleberry all right we're gonna go for this then oh yeah hey, yeah we got wrecked rumble was ready for us Cast goes back in. He's going to get the kill. Nice. He might get a double here. If he gets the double, then it's worth. Yeah, this is a definitely a double for Cass. I might even get the assist. Yep, we got the assist. Worth, boys. We'll take it. Moral of the story on Singe, you're actually very squishy. <laughs> Especially if you go Blasting Wall. I could have gone for Giant Spell when I first started building into my Agonies. It doesn't help your clears, though. It's just HP. If I had the HP, I probably would have lived there for a bit longer. If you toss somebody into your goo, it actually snares them. Or at least it should. Yeah, they're rooted. It says it right there on his E. Roots them for a second rather than just being a slow. But it, oftentimes it's very hard to get all the way up to them and then do that. Because they'll just flash away at that point. And your W stops them from using any dashes or flashes, anything like that. So a lot of times you use your W to get to them like this. Even though I completely whiffed there. Bonk! There he goes. We gotta block his Qs. Nice. Let's get this dragon, man. Turn off my Q. I'm gonna need some help with this. Imagine if Singed could fling dragon. That'd be so impressive. The most macho champ in the game. With the help of my teammates, Dragon stands no chance. Otherwise, wouldn't really recommend soloing Dragons on Singe, since his single target damage isn't the highest in the game. Jace doesn't have boots. Gonna get him with that W. Bonk! There he is. Have Adam, team. He's dead. <laughs> such a this is such a troll pick it's a lot better than a lot of other troll junglers like i think like yumi jungles is like z tier and uh there's just other junglers like ash or sivir just dog poop tier to where singe jungle i could see an argument to where you could put him in d tier and he, like he's not even f tier you know he is not an f tier jungler Bard is an F tier jungler. Holy crap, Bard jungle is so bad. The amount of pain it causes me to play that champ. Dodge him out, but uh, apparently he took damage from us, so now I'm going to die. Holy crap. That is one bad thing about Predators. If you do any little fl fleck of damage whatsoever to them, you lose the Predator. It does a tiny bit of bonus damage, but then you lose the movement speed because I was trying to get to him, but then I lost my movement speed. I don't even remember hitting him, though. I'll try it again. I'm pretty sure your W doesn't remove your Predator. Maybe I did hit him. I just didn't, don't remember. Botlane gets a double. That's pretty big. Urgot's very low. Jace is very low. I would like to do something about it, too. I know I can solo this Jace. He's a goofball. I have the HP to do it. Is he not going to walk back mid? He's just going to chill top. I think my W cancels his recall. Yep. Got our blue smite on him. We got our R on. And we got slowed for 10 years there. That J slow is pretty intense. Walk right into my poison. Good times. Get the kill. All right, I got to farm up, man. I'm starting to be really weak. I don't know how Jace has three kills, but he's just as fed as I am. Nah, outrage. 
accidentally turned off my poison there. That's a big tip. Make sure your poison's on when you're farming. It's your only real source of damage. Your E's just really garbage. They could easily make Singed a uh, B tier or A tier jungler if they just gave him a little bit of bonus damage to his Q. Just like how they gave Garen jungle, Darius jungle, Mordekaiser jungle bonus damage against the monsters. They could do the same thing with Singed and he, I think, would be pretty good and strong. Pretty powerful. Took them at the same time. We needed Smite to pull the big one. You can't Smite the little one and you gotta have a way of aggroing it. I don't think W aggros your camps. Since W does no damage, yeah, it doesn't. Feels bad. It'd be kind of nice if W did aggro the monster camps. You can pull camps together and multi-take them much easier with your Q AoE. Nice little quality of life buff for Cinch. Gonna go ahead and max our E second. We have a gank bot side since our predator is up. It's looking like a good opportunity. Life-changing opportunity. All right, there they are. Let's go. Let's go say hi. Bard goes in for a long shot. R. Predator ghost. I'll just fling him. I should have held ghost and just used my R. Okay, you're dead, bud. Got him grounded, he can't dash away, but he gets the kill on Bard, and I'm out of mana. I am completely sucked dry here. Only have 34 left. When you're on your R, you do get a bunch of mana regen. Health regen, mana regen, armor, magic resist, a little bit of extra AP. Useful stats. We'll go for dragon next. I need this blue buff, and then we'll take it. Should be able to get it with the Lucian. Little risky because enemy bot lane's alive now. Their uh, mid laner should be. Please don't take this from me. Their mid laner shouldn't be here though. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my Q was off. Holy crap, dude. I got cheated. Absolutely cheated there. I'll check bush, make sure it's not worded. I gotta reset safely. I can't believe it, man. I keep turning off my Q at the worst possible times. <laughs> Finally, Agony's Embrace. Let's get a chem tank now. If you don't want to play Predator Singed, then you have to rush chem tank first item. Keep that in mind. Since I went Predator, I don't even have to rush tier two boots. I can just get tier one boots early. Meander my way into agonies and then get the chem tank. I'll still be faster than everyone in the game throughout. If you're not faster than everyone, you're not going to be able to gank or engage. Biggest downside to Singe is his uh, lack of dashes, leaps, or blinks. Predator time. Turned on my Q in advance. Got my W on him. At least tried to get it on. We hit him with the fling and he's out of here. Ezreal's chilling bot side. I think we can solo him at this point. Yeah, we can definitely solo him. We'll use our blue smite. And he shouldn't stand a chance. Of course it's warded. Ezreal is not obeying my power. He needs to respect my authority. There he goes. Got him with the fling and he's a goner. Ran whips out an R, does some damage, it's not enough. You don't want to go red smite on Singe, you need it so you can land your fling. It speeds you up and it takes movement speed away from them and they quit! They literally didn't want to play against Singe's jungle. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of funny. If you guys enjoyed this fun little Singe jungle gameplay commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, I'll catch you guys next time.